Hello, this is Matthew Payment with PaymentInc.com and today I want to show you how to change modules and move things around and how, how modules work pretty much and what modules are. Now, to get started, you want to go first to Extend, extend Module Manager. If you're wondering why my admin panel looks a little bit different is because I updated it in the last tutorial that I did on how to change your default Joomla um, admin template. All Joomla templates, the back end, they look the same. So sometimes you might want to change and get a little bit different feel for uh, your particular taste. So modules are what control your website. You know, for example, if you look at any template, how Joomla works is every portion of your website is called a module and each section has a module position you know for example this is module position this is the top this can be where you see the, the banner right it can be something like um, the slideshow uh, this position can be position left this can be middle you know the point is you want to name the module positions so that people have flexibility so to give you a little more in-depth look at how everything works on the back end, let's say you want to change or you want to find out exactly where about Joomla is located. So you go to extend or extension manager and you click on module. So one of the easiest ways for you to find out where it's located is if you're new to Joomla and you're not really sure what to do, where to go, this can be really confusing, you know, trying to figure out where's that at and what do I do. So what you want to do is you want to first, under filter, right there, you want to copy the title of whatever it is. So for example, if you want to find out where about Joomla or the site is, what module position that is, you want to copy that title. Come back here, instead of trying to figure out what's where and what's how and you want to put it back here and click search and it is automatically going to pull it up for you so that way you know exactly the status of it the position this is module position 7 uh, the ordering the type that it is um, where it's showing is it public uh, the language so let me just explain a little bit more in terms of these uh, drop downs here and how the drop down works is once you click on this first one is the site the site is the site template the front end template that's currently being used the admin is the administrator's template which you don't really need for the front end work you want to focus on uh, the site the status published unpublished or trash this lets you know if the module is it published is it unpublished or has it been deleted I uh, select position. This is where all the module positions are of this particular template. Each template has its own module position. Some templates have up to 60, 70, or 80 different module positions. Uh, but with this one, you don't have that many. You see position 0, position 1. And in a few minutes, I am going to show you a really sh uh, short trick how you can find out what module positions are on any Joomla template. So what you want to do is, uh, okay, let's move on for the next select type. What type, in other words, what type of information do you want to put there in that particular module position? So right now for this module position here, the About Joomla, if you notice the type, it's a menu. That means that a menu was created from the menu manager and then connected to that particular module. So you have article category, news flash, banners, um, just different types of selections that you have. Now with the custom HTML, that gives you the ability for you to create your own whatever you want to show in that module. So if you have a custom HTML coding that you want to put there or uh, for example if you want the Facebook fan page coding, you want to use the custom HTML because that is going to translate the scripting so that people can see on the front end. Now the access. Is the module public, registered, special, or custom now? For public, this means that everyone can have access to it, regardless if they're a member or not. If they 
if they've logged into your site and now for registered you can actually create module positions where only people who've registered on your site you see a login form here only people who are registered to your site can see that particular module um, so it's not available to the general public and then special and custom access you can actually create uh, a custom or special module access where only certain people that you give access to can see that particular module let me let me uh, demonstrate what I mean for example with this this site okay right now it's public you don't have to have any type of access to it. anyone can view this uh, but if I go here let me find that position real quick okay okay there we go so if I click I don't know what position it is it's in position 7 so if I click on this site and let's say I want this to show um, for only people who are registered I can actually make that happen back here so I'm going to do two things first I am going to make this site show up only for those who are registered and second it's going to show up only on this demo products page so it's not going to show up on the home page anymore but it's just going to show up as you see right now it's on both pages it's going to show up just on the home I mean just on this page and not on the home page the way that you do that is this and this is one of the great things about the CMS is that you can let the CMS know what pages you want certain items to show on so if you have a special you're running and you don't want it to show on every page of your website you can designate where you want it to go so if I want this particular position here, this site, if I want it to show just on this demo products page and for registered users, what I'm going to do first is where it says access. Okay, I'll, I'll change that to register and I'm going to scroll down here. Now, if you notice, you have about Australian parks and these are the menus that are part of the site some of the menus are already published uh, to the front end but some of the menus have not been designated where to show on the front end so for example the reason why you're seeing about Joomla and this site is because they've been designated on where to show okay so the main menu right now is, is, is the is the this site the same as this site so you can see from here you know it has uh, home site map and pretty much the box that you check that's the page that that particular module is going to show up on so I don't want this this site to show up on the entire website I want it to show up just on this page and only for those who are registered so I'm going to go through each uh, menu right now to make sure that nothing is checked. But instead of doing that, another quick way is to do this. Click on this drop down where it says module assignment. Okay. You have the options here of choosing on all pages, no pages on the, on the pages selected, and all pages except those selected. So what I want to do is I want to first uh, make sure that it's no pages. So we're back to square one then now I can create where I want it to show so click on the drop down again and then click on only on the select only on the um, page selected okay now I can choose where this shows the top menu this is the top menu right here it has home demo products Joomla.org and this is the top home demo products Joomla.org so I want this to show only on the demo products and not on the home page. Once I've done that and to register users only, I click save and close. Now if we go back on the front end and refresh the page, you notice this site is no longer there. Okay? And if I log in, I can't see the page. If I go to demo products, normally the, this site would have been right here at the bottom. But it's not there anymore because I've designated that uh, two parameters. The first parameter is that only registered users can see that, 
and second has to be only on the Democratic page. So if I want to see this particular one, I have to go back on the home page and I'm going to log in here. Okay, so I am logging in, username, admin, password, okay, so click on login. Once again, you notice you don't have this site on the home page or the demo product page. So once I click on login and I go to demo products, there you have this site. Okay, so right now you can see it on there. If I go back on the home page and if I log out and I go back in the demo products, it's not there anymore. So this is some of the flexibility that you have in terms of uh, putting stuff to show wherever you want it to show, where you don't want it to show, you can uh, delete it from there. Now for the module positions, you want to go to extend template manager. Okay, and you can be able to find it from templates. Now this gives you a list of the templates that you have. You go to options to make sure that it's enabled for you to see where the positions are. Okay, and then you click, you find that particular template, which is this one, you click on preview. Okay, there you have it. If you notice, you have this little red thing uh, on the screen. That lets you know what those are the module positions. So once you go back on the admin of the module manager, this is where the positions will be. So if you want to publish something, you have to publish something. Um, on their respective positions.